This is Pastor Richard, and you are watching Hymnal 101 with Higher Things. If you were on a stranded island, what three books would you take with? Yes, what three books would you take with you to that deserted island if that's all you could take? Well, I don't know about you, but I know for myself, if you look in my book bag, you will find three books that are really, really quite worn. Uh, the first book is obviously going to be that Bible. Now, this Bible is one that uh, I had made several years ago. I actually took three different Bibles, sent them off to a company in Wisconsin. They cut it down. They put a really solid binding on it. But nonetheless, it is still held together with a little bit of my tape on the inside. I even have a little duct tape in there as well as super glue and a whole lot of ink. Uh, this is my number one choice. Now, if you look through my book bag, you will find a couple other books. And that second book that's very worn is going to be my Book of Concord. Yes, I do have tape over the whole thing holding this Book of Concord together. That's my number two choice. But what is my number three? What would be your number three? Well, my number three choice would be my hymnal. This is my personal edition of my hymnal that would sit on top. But why these three things? Now, believe it or not, these three things are more related than you might think. You see, the Bible is that foundational book that is our understanding of who the Lord God is. It is the revelation of God to us, what he has revealed of himself to us pertaining towards our salvation, who we are and who he is and what he has accomplished for us. The Book of Concord now, obviously, is that confession of our Christian faith. It's the confession of what we believe, teach, and confess from these scriptures, namely this, that we are justified by grace through faith on account of Christ and Him alone. But what about this hymnal? You see, this hymnal actually flows out of the revelation of who God is and our confessions. It's the piety of our faith, the piety of our faith, not only on Sundays, but through the rest of the week as well. Now, it's often taught and believed that this hymnal itself should be tucked away in a pew in the church. In fact, that its home uh, is in the pew of the church. In fact, I remember as a kid taking a hymnal once out, and, 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 and it was almost like I was stealing that hymnal out of its natural habitat. But when it comes to the hymnal, one of the things in these upcoming videos with Higher Things, we want to examine and see how this hymnal is a part of our piety of every day of our lives, not just on Sundays, but also Monday through Saturday as well. So I invite you to join us on this journey with Higher Things as we go through Hymnal 101, examining this hymnal, understanding how the hymnal works as a part of our piety, of understanding this piety and practice in light of the scriptures, in light of our Book of Concord, in light of our life, Monday through Saturday again, our piety as Christians as we live this life in our vocations to one another.